And then let's bring in the 808 and... Can you see how quickly with just four tracks we're starting to peak out and clip our meter up here? Uh, Saga says, question, uh, made a track with Alchemy, synth, sound was awesome on headphones, exported as wave high at quality, 44 kilohertz in Google Drive, the exported track doesn't sound like the original file at all, dot, 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 do we have, uh, is, is that just a dun, 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 or do we have a, <laughs> or is there more to that? Uh, yeah, so I don't know if you saw a recent video I did, usually, not always, but usually, the problem with something like this is related to your volumes. And I think it was just two days ago I talked about this, but GarageBand doesn't help you, especially with things like sings, especially with things like Alchemy Synths. Let's come in here and throw an Alchemy Synth on here. Let's create a quick loop here with some Alchemy Synth. So we'll come in here, the epic cloud formation. Let's just hit record and just play this. Now, I don't want, uh, I don't really want the other sounds there because we're actually going to add in a beat. So if we add the alchemy synth there and then we, uh, you know, just, just bring in a drum loop, shall we? Something, oh, we've got the jazz hustle flute. <laughs> I was playing around with that and, and searching for that jazz hustle flute the other day. But if we want to just go, uh, let's just find like a big festival kick drum or something to put in here that's going to be nice and loud. Uh, big room kick. Yep. This is going to help demonstrate this. Big room kick in there. So that's going to make it nice and loud there. And then let's just get another synth. Let's go with a synth bass here in Alchemy, shall we? So Alchemy synth. Uh, we're going to go with the bass. And we'll go with an 808 because, of course, we will. We'll hit the record button here. Two, three. Uh, just, just um, again, I don't really need to do all of this stuff, but hey, you know when you start creating music and you're just having fun? <laughs> yeah, that. So we'll come here in the Alchemy synth and let's just go with like a, a nice aggressive lead sound. So something like uh, 80s synth lead. That's nice and loud. Ready? So we've created this nice little beat here. Here's the problem though. <laughs> GarageBand defaults all your volumes to here, which is okay with one thing. So if we were just playing this, take a look at what we have going on here. We're only at like the halfway mark there, yeah? That's okay, no problem. If we take this kick by itself, then we're only at the halfway mark here, but let's bring them together. Can you see how much the amplitude amplitude increases of our volume just with those two things? Let's bring in our pad and now take a look. And then let's bring in the 808 and... Can you see how quickly with just four tracks we're starting to peak out and clip our meter up here? So here's the thing. Don't use GarageBand's default here because you'll be listening in your headphones saying, that sounds cool, man. This is the most lit fire beat ever. But turn it down. Honestly, if you turn it down and you get everything down here, as you're building out your track, you're going to find your overall volume is going to be much better because even though when you play it now, you might be thinking, Pete, that's wussy. The key is it's not going to be clipping. So when you export this, if it's sitting between 50 and 70% on that top meter, it means that it's not going to be clipping and therefore it's not going to limit it. And the main problem I see with people exporting songs in GarageBand is that they've got it all the way up. They've got everything up to 11. And I'm not saying you're doing exactly this, but even if it's just a little bit loud and you've got something like this going on... <laughs> When you export that, every time it's hitting that zero dB, it's actually doing some automatic limiting there on your track. So that means that when you export it, you're gonna get some pumping sound, you're gonna get some digital artifacts, it's gonna sound a lot worse than if you just turned down your volumes. So hopefully that helps you and uh, anyone else who is having trouble with their exports not sounding as good as they should.